Okay, what we're looking at today before we start on actually solving these um, trigonometric equations is reference angles. I'm sure some of you are already familiar with what they are, but there's no problem in revising them. Now, first thing you should know, uh, a reference angle is an angle that is in the first quadrant. So you have your quadrants uh, like this. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. The first quadrant, 0 to 90. The second quadrant, 90 to 180. And then 180 to 270. And then from 270, you go to 360 or you're back at 0. So any angle here in this quadrant is um, can be a reference angle. Okay, now these reference angles are important. You'll see why in a minute. And we can write any angle in terms of a reference angle. So if you have an angle that is not in the first quadrant, you can find a, um, an angle in the first quadrant uh, that is its reference. Now we'll start with something in the second quadrant let's say for example 150 okay I have 150 degrees now, 150 degrees will be somewhere here so this is where it would and I can measure 150 degrees so I start from zero and then I measure this way and then I have my 150 degrees now if we measured all the way here we would have 180 but we stopped here 150 so that means this part this part over here this is 30 degrees okay and because I have 30 degrees here I can write this 150 as 180 minus 30 degrees I can see this 30 degrees that I have over here. 30 degrees is in the first quadrant. And this 30 degrees is the reference angle of 150 degrees. I can do the same thing with, say, um, 210. Say 210 degrees. 210 degrees is bigger than 180, but it is less than 270. So that means it is somewhere here. So if I measured all the way like that, I would have 210 degrees but you see if I measured and stopped here I would have 180 and then if I continued just a little bit more I would have 210 so that much more that I would need to continue to make um, 210 from 180 is 30 degrees so I can write 210 as 180 plus 30 okay and you can see 30 degrees is an angle in the first quadrant so that means uh, 30 degrees is also a reference angle of 210 okay I could move to the third uh, the fourth quadrant let's say I pick an angle 330 degrees now 330 is bigger than 270 and it is less than 360 and if I measured and went all the way to 330 I would stop here and I would ask myself how much more do I need in order to get to 360 so that means how much do I have left over here I would measure it and see I have 30 degrees so I could write 330 as 360 minus 30 and you can see again 30 degrees is an angle in the first quadrant and this is my reference angle so 30 degrees is a reference angle of 150 degrees it is a reference angle of 210 degrees and it is also a reference angle of 330 degrees and 30 is in the first quadrant so it's very important our reference angle must be in the first quadrant and it can be a reference to any other angle in any of the other uh, quadrants so in the second quadrant if it is a reference angle 
to an angle in the second quadrant we will say it is 180 minus my reference angle so I will say 180 minus alpha and here alpha is my reference angle okay so this is in my second quadrant okay then if I have alpha in the third quadrant if I have uh, an angle in the third quadrant and alpha is its reference angle then I will say that angle is 180 plus alpha this is in the third quadrant and then for an angle in the fourth quadrant that I want to use the reference angle when I'm talking about it I will say this is 360 plus I'm sorry this is 360 minus alpha this is in the fourth quadrant now you might be thinking why do we need to um, know about this reference angles why are they important the reason is the uh, trigonometric ratios of these angles and their reference angles are actually equal except for the sign so you can take your calculator out we can check Let's find out what is sine of 150 degrees. So we take our calculator and then we see what is sine of 150 degrees. You can see it is half. And what is sine of 30 equal to? Sine of 30 is half. So from my calculator, I can see that sine of 150 is equal to sine of 30 this is the reference angle and this is the angle in the second quadrant i could try it again what about sine of 210 take my calculator sine of 210 this is equal to negative half but you see the value half is the same except it is negative so it is negative of sine 30. and why is it negative if you remember what we did in class, we say that in the first quadrant, in the first quadrant, all the trigonometric ratios are positive. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, in the third quadrant, only tan is positive, and in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive. Now 210 is in the third quadrant and only 10 of an angle in the third quadrant is positive. So it makes sense that the sine of 210 is negative half. The value half is the same except for the sine. And I'm sure you can already guess what sine of 330 is. Sine of 330, we can expect it to be equal to sine of 30 which is its reference angle the only difference is that in the fourth quadrant sine is negative because only cos is positive so it's negative sine of 30 which is negative a half okay and this works with all the other um, angles that have a reference angle